Hey, Steve, when it comes to using cell phones, the right time in your life we're across the line of good faith. It's always bugging me. When I was on vacation a couple of weeks ago, people on the beach yelling on the phone. Nobody was relaxed. I had trouble panning. Can I, just, I, just, I, I, know I know what you did. What? what? You sucked it up. You said, well, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to handle it? We'll just sit here, honey, and do. You're spirit the wife, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, joining us right now, the author of the Cell Phone Handbook. Her name is Penelope Stetz, and she joins us live. Hello, Penelope. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Now, now what? You know, we should probably turn this off. All right. <laughs> you know what uh, prompted this story was um, last week in New Jersey, one county said, you know what? We're going to make cell phone use in cars illegal. Mm -hmm. It ought to be. Yeah. Well, they did that first in Brooklyn, Ohio, which is a suburb of Cleveland where I live. Right. And they've made it illegal to drive with, when you're using a cell phone. You could use a headset, but you can't. And well, I know, I just saw this thing on Marlboro, New Jersey, and right. they don't want you to touch your phone at all. And if you're caught touching that phone, it's like you can, you can pull over, start the call, then you can take off using a headset. Right. But you can't touch that phone at all. If they see you driving. dialing, right. you're, you're headed to the big house. Well, I've got a ticket wearing a Walkman before cell phones start to boom. I had a Walkman on, my stereo was gone. I got a ticket two or three times for doing that. Okay. you think I would've learned. But now, are they gonna, are <laughs> they gonna start coming smart. down on this and forcing this, like the seatbelt law? Well, you know, 33 states have tried to pass laws about it. And the federal government doesn't want to pass the laws. They want to make it a state issue. And the states are having trouble. They haven't ever gotten the bills out of, out of the house. You know, right. they're passing their laws. So what they're looking at now is each municipality is really forced, if they mm -hmm. feel that strongly about it, to make that change. But what's, the, long what's the big deal? How many accidents are happening? Cell phones. Well, there's 44 percent of the drivers that have, have phones in their cars at the moment. That's that's a lot of people on the road sure. with phones that are able to make calls. Right. Technically, I think that if you use a speed dial, which allows you to maybe press one button, right. and and then you're not looking away from the road that much, or something voice activated. You know right. what, uh, Penelope, uh, you're from Ohio. We, right now, you're in Ground Zero. We're we're only a block from Broadway. Last year, during a Broadway performance, somebody's cell phone went off, and the actor stopped dead cold uh, in his tracks. Stopped, looked at the patron, and said, "Will you turn off?" And then he used an expletive, much like uh, the first <laughs> and lady he denied did. it later. Uh, no. He, he said he did it, and the entire place stood up and cheered him. People are sick of people uh, thinking that they've got to use the cell phone in the parking lot, at the, at you know, standing around. Get in a cab. Why do we suddenly think that we're so important that we've got to be in contact with people every second of the day? It's almost like when you have a cell phone, you have this, and you call, your phone rings. It's like you have an invisible bubble, and you're in your own little world. Right. You know, and nobody around you seems to matter. And I don't know why that is. It's, I think that it's probably due to some of the newness when you first get a cell phone. Right. It's so new, it's exciting, you want to call your friends. Right. Guess where? I'm calling you from the car! <laughs> yeah. yeah, how many calls and, are there? And, you know, I try to keep my calls brief. If you look at my phone bill, sure. they're about a minute or a minute and a half and average. Actually, we have that on a full screen, don't we, her phone bill? We do. <laughs> right. And her phone number. Plus, we also have on uh, uh, graphics. Etiquette tips. That's right. Let's take a look. Here's first the first all, one. Keep your phone on vibrator. That's, uh, Edie's kept hers on that for years, uh, just so she doesn't disturb anybody. Uh, also, keep the calls brief. Use a headset and screen your calls using caller ID, which is really easy if you've got one of those digital plans. Right, and I think that, you know, if you don't have a digital phone at the moment and you need to make, you need to receive calls. I mean, right. you know, there's some people like doctors on call and things that, that need to have right. some sort of communication. What I recommend is that they keep it on Viber call. If you're in a theater, church, concert, whatever, right. Don't answer the call. You know the call came in. Right. Leave the theater. You're going to have to leave anyway. Sure. Then, then go and to make return the call. If you've got caller ID, you'll right. know who it was anyway. Very good. The book once again is called the Cell Phone Handbook. Penelope Stetz also has a website. It's wirelesswiz.com. I think it's so interesting. Cell phone companies kicking in too, saying we got to stop this etiquette thing. So there's no resentment, no backlash. Right. People yeah. be back at pay phones in a snap. He's always. <laughs> he's got the world's longest uh, voicemail message. In yeah. The whole who, me? World. Yeah. 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 And you you complain me, about it every time. Or you can get, reach me at my beeper or, you know, track down somebody. If we want to reach Edie Penelope, how do we do it? Do we just toss inside? I think that's exactly what we do. We look in the camera, we get real close, and we say, that's going to wrap up our cellular segment here now with the rest of the news is Edie Donahue.